Persona is getting bigger. A whole lot bigger. So much so that not only are we seeing more content hit Persona 3 Reload later this year, but we're also getting an often forgotten Persona game hitting the PC and Switch. An imminent official reveal for Persona 6 right around the corner, Persona 5 The Phantom X being developed for a global launch, plus remasters and remakes of Personas 1, 2, and 4. I'd be remiss if I didn't say that Metaphor Refantasio is shaping up to be a massive launch later this year as well, so to say that Atlas and Persona are on a roll is definitely putting it lightly. Join me as we dive into all the latest developments regarding Atlas's ambitious Persona projects, from upcoming remakes to brand new Persona games, as Persona makes its presence on the RPG scene known to the masses with its rise in popularity. If you are interested in picking up Metaphor later this year, or perhaps you're hesitant to try it out, cast that all aside and enter into my giveaway of the game for the platform of your choice. And if you're in for some Shin Megami Tensei, check out my Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance giveaway as well. Giveaways are linked in the description. Starting chronologically, we gotta begin with Persona 1 and Persona 2, as these games are likely to get remasters or remakes. This takes us back to February 5th this year, just days after Persona 3 Reload launched, with the GOAT of Persona Insiders on Twitter, Midori, stating that a Persona 2 and Persona 4 remake exist at Atlas. Real quick, Midori accurately announced games like Persona 3 Reload and its entire DLC, and Persona 5 Tactica months before they would get officially revealed, along with other SMT projects like Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance, so she is a very credible source, although since none of this rests in official statements by Atlas, take this with grains of salt, even though she's turned out to be correct with her Persona info. Midori would later say that Persona 1 is getting a re-release as well, but stated that not not all of these games will be in the style of Reload, aka a full-blown remake. Over on Reset Era, Head on the Block, another prominent Persona leaker with a similarly good track record with Persona Insider Info, stated that Personas 1 and 2 are getting remasters, with a new translation being the selling point for the games, claiming that specifically Persona 2 is not a remake. He continues by stating that Persona 2 would be releasing either before or the following year after Persona 6, and that it's not a major undertaking. A Persona 4 remake would be years away, which we'll get into later. Fast forward to earlier this month on April 12th, Midori claimed that both Persona 1 and Persona 2 are receiving remakes, in addition to Persona 4. Alright, so Persona 4 getting a remake has understandably riled up many Persona fans, because many believe that Persona 4 shouldn't get a remake, since a perfectly competent and incredibly polished edition of the game exists on all modern platforms in Persona 4 Golden. We talked about what a Persona 4 remake would look like in this video, linked in the description, but since we are talking about Persona 1 and Persona 2 now, Midori's news of both these games receiving remakes is music to the ears for a lot of Persona fans. Let's get into why. Personas 1 and 2 are much older games, and obviously they're older than the OG Persona 3, of which Persona 3 Reload is based off. And Personas 1 and 2 are not only older of course, but they're also very different in scope and design from Personas 3 through 5. For those unfamiliar with Personas 1 and 2, these games are much more like Shin Megami Tensei. I mean, Persona is an offshoot series that spawned from Shin Megami Tensei in the first place, as the name Shin Megami Tensei is part of the title of these older games. Games. We're talking an increased focus on dungeon crawling, combat, and I mean much harder combat, and lots and lots of random enemy encounters. But on the flip side, we got very compelling stories, featuring a diverse cast of characters that really helped make this new Persona series stand out over its SMT origins. Even so, big Persona staples like the social stats and social link or confidant systems are not present in Personas 1 and 2, making these first two games stand out greatly among Personas 3 through 5, as those social sim elements ushered in the current Persona era in Persona 3. I only got around to playing Persona 1 and Persona 2 Innocent Sin on their PSP releases, which were considered enhanced ports of their PS1 counterparts. But interestingly, Persona 2's companion game, Persona 2 Eternal Punishment, never saw its PSP release come to the West. So I'm curious to see if both Persona 2 games will contain a worldwide release when they ultimately get their remasters or remakes. I remember especially liking Persona 2 Innocent Sin on the PSP back in the day, due in part 
part to its rumor system, where if your party hears a rumor from an NPC, they can spread that rumor throughout the game world, having this rumor leave tangible effects on the environment and in combat, allowing new shops and locations to become available on the map, and also granting access to different weapons and accessories. It was a pretty cool system that I'd like to see brought back in a future Persona game. Alright, now here's the thing. Personas 1 and 2 definitely deserve to get at least a remaster, and it makes me hopeful, seeing as Midori is using the word remake for both Persona 1 and Persona 2, that hopefully we'll get some significant enhancement to the game's graphics and presentation, along with its combat, as even I got a bit fatigued by these games' constant random battles in the dungeons. With fans in an Atlas survey from May 2022 responding with Persona 2 with just as high a percent as Persona 3 for desired remakes among fans, it's no wonder these remakes are going to be coming, it's just a matter of when. With Persona 6 being launched either next year or in 2026, these remakes or remasters of Personas 1 and 2 may be launching around Persona 6's likely massive launch to keep the Persona motor spinning. Let me know your thoughts in the comments regarding remakes or remasters of Personas 1 and 2, and how in-depth you think Atlas may be with them, because I don't think these games are going to see monumental changes, like no social link integration, social stats, or anything social sim related like we have with the newer Persona games, as these systems, if they were to be implemented, would have to fundamentally change huge amounts, no, the entirety of these older games to accommodate these now staple Persona elements. I'm curious to hear what you have to say about this, so sound off in the comments. Now, if you're eager to see these games ship soon, but want the great taste of gamer sups with free shipping, use the code FUNMYLIFE at checkout to receive free shipping on all orders over $39.69 US from now until May 2nd. I promise I'll keep this one brief, as more Persona is calling, but hot damn, you gotta try out their new flavor, raw meat. No, it doesn't taste like what you would think. This tastes like summer, in a flavor I'd go as far as saying it's the tastiest energy drink I've ever tasted, with zero sugar and at less than one calorie. Go get your tub, along with a variety of shakers, with free shipping after using the code FUNMYLIFE at checkout if your order is over $39.69. So hurry up before the free shipping expires on May 2nd. Persona 3 Reload marks the series and Atlas's best-selling game to date, and with the game's Episode Igus DLC hitting later this year, this, remarkably, isn't the last we'll get of Persona 3. While Atlas has confirmed that Episode Igus will be the last piece of content we'll see as part of Persona 3 Reload, a long-forgotten Persona game from Japan is slated to get a release for the Switch and PC in the future. The only catch? It'll only be releasing in Japan for now. The game in question is called Persona 3 Igus, The First Mission. Released back in 2007 in Japan as a mobile game, this game goes deep into Igus' origins, with the game set in Yakushima 10 years before the main story of Persona 3. While the various releases of Persona 3 have alluded to the events of Igus, along with the incident that occurred during her training exercise there, Persona 3 Igus, The First Mission, goes deep into this important act of Persona 3's story, introducing both new and returning characters that more appropriately fleshes out the game's story that set into motion what we would later see in Persona 3. I don't know about you, but I'd love to try this game, even though it was a mobile game released over 15 years ago. And I really hope that this game will get localized in more languages, but if you are in Japan and or can speak Japanese, this game will be available for Switch via the eShop and Steam at some point in the future. For those who have played it before, what did you think of Persona 3 Igus, the first mission? If it gets localized in different languages, would you be interested in picking this one up? Alright, Persona 4, as we mentioned prior, is likely also getting a remake, and while some may not be as interested in seeing this iconic fourth Persona game receiving the reload treatment, there are some ways to improve upon the near-perfect golden iteration, and you can view this video here to sum it all up for you. Like Midori and Head on the Block stated, expect this one to come out after Persona 6, so we'll be waiting a bit on this one. But don't worry, there are still tons of Persona games other than Personas 1 and 2 to look forward to, like Persona 5 The Phantom Axe. This game has already released in many Asian countries, but Mirori in February this year stated that the game is being developed for an English release, with her also stating that a global release is going to happen for the game. Persona 5 The Phantom X will be available on both mobile and PC platforms. 
this brings us to the one we have all been waiting for, Persona 6. While no concrete official information has been provided for the next mainline Persona game, Persona 6 has been gaining a lot of attention recently with tons of insider reports claiming everything from its green color scheme to it being a semi-open world game featuring two protagonists and more. There is a lot to unpack with this information, and I compiled all of it here in this video outlining everything from the insider information and Atlas themselves regarding this game. Persona 6 is rumored to be officially revealed sometime this year, with a release date sometime in 2025 or 2026 at the absolute latest. That is a lot of Persona right there, so while Persona 3 Reload has just released and we'll see its DLC finish up later this year, we still have potential remakes of Persona 1, Persona 2, and Persona 4 on the horizon, along with a global release of Persona 5 The Phantom X happening at some point, and of course, Persona 6 and that game's reveal happening soon. In case that wasn't enough, a hugely expanded remaster in Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance is releasing this June, along with a brand new game in Metaphor Refantasio, a spiritual successor of sorts to the Persona series, releasing in October this year, so we have a lot to be looking forward to. Out of all these projects, which ones are you most excited for? I'm looking forward to all of them, but come on, it's Persona 6, people. If you're more interested in Metaphor, I wouldn't blame you, because that game looks incredible. So yeah, participate in my giveaway of that, as we'll have that giveaway open until a few days before the game releases in October. Also, enter the code FUNMYLIFE for free shipping on your Gamersops order on orders over $39.69 before May 2nd, and watch this video on everything we know about the upcoming epic in Persona 6. Be sure to stay tuned to the channel for all Persona updates going forward, and I look forward to seeing all you good people real soon in the next one.